this video, I will show you how to create quizzes in Blackboard Ultra. Scroll down to the bottom of the course content page. You can create a quiz anywhere between the content items. You just want to click the plus sign found within the circle. I'm going to create the quiz at the bottom of all the content. I will click create. The first thing that I want to do is create two folders. One folder is entitled quizzes. The other folder, question banks. Folder, question banks. The next thing I want to do is create question banks. So I'm going to click the plus sign, create, scroll down the test, I'm going to give it a title, World War II question bank. I'm going to delete the due date, delete that, save it. You don't want the question bank to have a due date. The question banks will be used to create the actual exam or quiz. I'm going to add questions to the question bank. I will just add essay questions, but you can see that you can add many different types of questions. I'm going to make it worth two points. Which country attacked Pearl Harbor? I will save that. And you can see I'm going to create another question. But you can see you can add a question pool, calculated formula question, essay question, fill in the blank, matching, multiple choice, true, false. You can reuse a question. You can also add text. You can add directions for the students so the students will view those directions before they actually take the quiz or exam. So I'm going to add another essay question. I want to change the points to two points. When did World War II end. I will save that and you can see I have two questions worth two points each. That's one question bank. I will create another one right here. The other one is based on a different subject. Test. So I'm going to call it cell structure and function question bank. I want to delete the due date, save, click the plus sign to create an essay question. The first question, first I want to change the points. Which organelle contains ribosomes? I'm going to save that and I'm going to add another question by clicking the Plus sign found within the purple circle. I'm going to add an essay question. Change the points to two points. And the question, I will type the question. Which organelle contains, produces ATP? So now I will save those two questions. Now I have two question banks. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to add these question banks to the question bank folder. So if you scroll to the right, you can see the arrow pointing up, the arrow pointing down. You want to click that and move the question bank to the question bank folder. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the cell structure and function question bank. So now I put it in the folder. Let me do that one more time. So now it's in the folder. The next thing that I'm going to do is create an actual quiz or exam. So I'm going to create a quiz, test, and I'm going to call it quiz one. This time I want it to have a due date. I want the due date to be 1018, maybe I'll say 5 p.m. So the due date would be 5 p.m. So 
So I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to add the questions. I'm going to click the plus sign found within the purple circle. Add question pool because I'm going to add questions from those question banks. Out of the World War II question bank, I'm going to click the square, click select all, add questions. I'm going to make it worth two points and then I want one question to display to students. I will save that. Now I will add one question from the other question bank. So click the plus sign, add question pool, cell structure and function question bank, select all, add questions. I want to change it to two points and then number of questions, one, and save. So now what I'm going to do is change these settings. So I'm going to look at the due date, that's fine. Grade category test, that's fine. So you can see that the points will change when you add more questions. Right now it's only four points. Attempts allowed. One attempt, you can change it to unlimited or up to 10 attempts. And I'm going to scroll down. Automated question feedback. When I click that, you can see it says show automated feedback. You can either show it after the submission, after due date, after all grades posted, or on specific date. Show question scores same options. You can even show correct answers. Let me click that again. So correct answers. You can see the same page that I was at. Show correct answers, same options. After all grades are posted, now I will click save. And then one other thing that you can do is you can randomize questions. I like to do that so every student already has a unique quiz or exam because one question is selected from each question bank randomly. But if you randomize the questions, the quiz or exam is even more unique for each student. I don't suggest clicking randomize answers because if you have answer choices such as all of the answer choices are correct or none of the answer choices are correct, those may appear in a different order and you want those answers to appear in letters D and E opposed to them appearing in A and B. So I don't suggest selecting randomized answers unless you don't have any of those choices unless all of your answer choices are pretty specific they're not none of the above or all of the above we already went over grade category attempts allowed I like to grade using points you can grade using a percentage a letter grade and assessment rules, we went over that. Um, time limit, you can change it. So since this is a quiz, I'm going to say it's 10 minutes. One thing I do like to select is work is automatically saved and submitted when time expires. So that if the time does expire, the work is saved and you can grade what they've completed. You can also select students have extra time to work after the time limit expires. And then you can choose what you want to include here. So when initial time expires, tell students that work submitted after the initial time limit may receive partial credit. So it's really up to you. Or you can say unlimited extra time. Now I'm going to move down to the last area. 
So Proctorio settings. Proctorio is a proctoring tool that's embedded into Blackboard. You can change the settings, but you would just have to go directly into Proctorio to do that. There may be a different proctoring software or tool that your school uses. It just depends, but you would just have to change the settings in the assessment security area. You can also type a description here. You can describe the exam or quiz. What I've found is if you type a description, sometimes it doesn't let you randomize questions. And I always like to randomize questions, so I just don't include a description here. So now I'm, I will save this. And you can see when I scroll down, you can see that the quiz is here. The next thing that I want to do is move the quiz to the quiz folder. And you can see the quiz is there. The last thing that I want to show you is this area, you can hide the quiz from students, you can make it visible to them, or you can choose release conditions. I like to choose release conditions so the quiz releases to them at a specific time. I choose date time under set additional conditions, and then I can choose the show on and hide after date and time. So since the due date is 1018 at 5 p.m., I'm going to show it on 1018. I'm going to say 11 a.m. 11. Okay, 11 a.m. Hide after. So the due date is 5 p.m. or the due date is 1018. The time is 5 p.m. I'm going to hide it after 1018. And it doesn't allow you to hide it at 5 p.m. because that's the due date. So you can just change it to 502. And now you can see you're able to hide it. Another thing is choosing when the content will appear. Choose if you want the content to appear before course members meet the release conditions. So you can show the quiz before the release conditions are met. So that would be before 11 a.m. Or you can hide the quiz so it only appears or it only is visible on the course content page at that time at 11 a.m. I usually like to show it so students remember to take it. Then I save it. And one other thing I like to do is I like to change the title to the due date. So quiz one do 5 p.m. 10, 18, 21. So that way they remember. I also like to send, let me make sure this is right. Okay. I also like to send an email to the students to remind them about the quiz. And I can even post an announcement to remind them about the quiz just so that they know the day of. So maybe you can send that in the morning or maybe an hour before the exam or quiz, whenever you'd like to. And that is it. That is how you create quizzes in Blackboard Ultra.